I am Father David, and welcome to the beginning of our festival in honor of the birthday of our Blessed Mother on September 8th, coming up soon. Why don't we begin, though, as we always do, with a quiz? Let's see how much we know about our Blessed Mother. So, the first question, number one. Why is the color blue associated with Mary? A, in the ancient world, the color was associated with royalty. B, it reminds people of the sky and her assumption into heaven. C, all Jewish women of her time in history wore blue veils. The answer is A. The tradition began in the Byzantine art world where Mary is displayed wearing a dark blue mantle as a sign of her royal dignity as Queen of Heaven. You can see right here, she has on a brilliant blue man mantle in this beautiful statue. Number two, what feast celebrates the fact that the Virgin Mary understands our human feelings? A, the Feast of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. B, the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows. Or C, the Feast of Mary, Queen of Heaven. The answer is B, the Feast of Our Lady of Sorrows on September 15th is one day before the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross on September 14th. Obviously, Our Lady experienced a deep sorrow on Good Friday while standing at the cross of her son. So while Mary's sorrow is real and she is filled with searing pain, her posture of standing at the cross indicates that she is not crushed. She is not focused on her own grief. Her standing indicates her strong will and an act of support for her son, Jesus. Thus, she models grief that is a part of every human being's life. Third question. Why is Christmas on December 25th and the Immaculate Conception on December 8th? A, the early church calendar was not exact enough to calculate the correct date. B, the Julian calendar mistakenly put in the wrong date. Or C, December 8th celebrates the Immaculate Conception of Mary, not Jesus. And so her birthday celebrated nine months later, September 8th. The answer is C. Many people mistake December 8th, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception of Mary, with the Annunciation, the Feast of the Conception of Jesus by the Holy Spirit. Mary's birthday is celebrated on September 8th, nine months later. Jesus' Conception is celebrated on the Feast of the Annunciation, March 25th, which of course is nine months before Christmas. It can be confusing, but very interesting. The fourth question, and these are going to be fill-in-the-blank questions now, okay? The fourth question. Mary is often called the new blank in salvation history. So fill in that blank with A, the new Sarah, B, the new Eve, C, the Veronica of the New Testament. The answer, B. Just as Eve was being disobedient and caused death to be introduced into the whole human race, so Mary, being obedient to God, was made the cause of salvation for the whole human race. Mary's obedient yes to God negates Eve's disobedience in the garden. Because of Mary's yes, Jesus brings salvation into the world. Question five. St. Francis compared Mary to a blank. Fill in that blank. A, a tabernacle. B, a Bible. C, a chalice. The answer is A. 
As we know, the tabernacle in a Catholic church reserves the consecrated bread to be brought to the sick of the community and to be adored. The tabernacle holds the body of Christ. Mary carried the body of Christ in her womb. And St. Francis, this was a beautiful comparison. So that is our quiz on Mary, whose birthday was, we celebrate coming up with our liturgy in a few days. Just as it is often custom to bring a gift to a loved one on their birthday, maybe today after Mass, you can bring a gift, a birthday gift, to the Blessed Mother in honor of her birthday and give her a gift through St. Anthony's Guild. Your birthday gift to Mary will be used to help us help the poor mothers like her and bring them the joy that comes with any birthday celebration. They need diapers, they need baby food, they need formula and clothing that can help bring their young mother the ability to care for their babies because of your birthday gift to the Blessed Mother. Just like Mary helped so many mothers through her intercession and for her prayers, your birthday gift to Mary can help these young mothers care for their own children. Please help us help them bring care and love to their children like the Blessed Mother does for each of us. So happy birthday to our Blessed Mother. Coming up in a couple days will be the beautiful liturgy celebrated by Father Brian. From all of us to all of you, God's blessing, God's love, and God's care from St. Anthony's Guild. May God bless you all.